Hello, people. I'm Ginny Metherill, and I'm a fourth generation witch, and I'm here to talk to you today about all the witchcraft that you should do in August. So the month of August is a great month for prosperity and wealth. I thought it would be a great time to give you my make a mint money charm, which I will show you at the end of this video. So do stick around for that because you can use it in the workplace. It's very discreet. You don't need to do anything and it uses the most easy of ingredients. So firstly, I thought we'd look at the dates in August. Now, as you probably know, the 1st of August is the date of Lammas or Lunasa. And this is a celebration of the first grain harvest. So you always made bread and you offered it up on your altar of worship. August was a very traditional time for games to begin. So on your fields, which would be cleared of all the grain and the harvest, you could now hold your running and your jumping, etc., and your dancing. And so many English traditions have come from this. For example, Morris dancing always happens in August. All the country fairs in the UK, you will always see Morris dancers. I quite like them myself. I find them very jolly rather sweet but this is some sort of pagan fertility festival because they are worshipping the god of fertility. The Highland Gates for example still go on today with tossing of cabers which is a sort of fertility symbol mixed in with you know being part of the games themselves. The 8th of August has always been known as the Feast of Venus however when the Christians turned up they obviously appropriated it and gave it to the birth of the Virgin Mary. So the birth of the Virgin Mary was supposed to be the sacrosanct, you know, sacred, non-fertile thing, as opposed to the Feast of Venus, which is very much a free-for-all. I rather enjoy the juxtaposition that the Catholic Church was imposing on their pagan fold, uh, but it makes me laugh, really. So the 8th of August is a very propitious day for love, marriage and fidelity so should you wish to cast a love spell do have a look at my ethical love spell which i'll put a link to in the description below this day 8th of august time to make that spell there are plenty of other traditions that go on in the uk one of my favorites is the burry man in scotland where they cover this man in burrs from the burdock bush and then parade him round, and he drinks whiskey as he goes through you know through the pubs and the streets etc and this brings <sighs> well I should imagine quite a headache to the police but it is part of some sort of pagan traditional festival some sort of fertility festival now August is also traditionally the time associated with wicker man festivals there is really very very scant information that human sacrifices were performed by the druids and their people in Wicker Man festivals. I mean, if there's only one person and he was a bit biased. Julius Caesar, in fact, it was. He was a tiny bit biased. However, there is information, very scant again, but there is information that Wicker festivals were held and they would have offered up sacrifices of their goats and cattle and sheep, not all of them, obviously, and then feasted upon them once they cooked them in this Wicker cage. I mean, there are echoes of Wicker Man festivals in the UK now. On the 24th of August or thereabouts, most years, in West Witten in Yorkshire, they burn the Bartle, which is a straw man who they set alight. So this has something in line with Wicker. So I don't suggest that you go around burning people in Wicker cages. That wouldn't be good. Or animals for that matter. Don't do that. Not a good thing to do. And I've picked myself uh, some corn stalks and it's with these that I'm going to make a corn dolly. I'm not going to show you how to make a corn dolly because you can find plenty of how-to videos on YouTube for that. But I think it's a really lovely thing to do in August because August is the season of the harvest, the first harvest, and it's something you can put on your altar if you're Wiccan. In the village that I grew up in, it was rather a thing for every field at their gate, there was a corn dolly place there. You were always allowed to pick them up and look at them and admire them, because they were beautiful, some of them, but you always had to put them back. And they were the offering you, the green man of the fields for harvest. Just these fresh flowers that would make an offering to the gods of old. So that is a rather beautiful corn dolly. I shall hang it from my door and it will give me peace, prosperity and luck for the next year. There is one last thing we want to talk about, which is, of course, your Make Your Mint Money Charm. And the Make Your Mint Money Charm uses very, very few ingredients. So we have some oats. It uses mint, which I picked from my garden. 
This is the mint here, which is rather beautiful. And I chose one with flowers on the tops because I like it. And it also uses some sort of alcohol. Now I am currently going to use some vodka because this is what I've got, but you could use surgical spirit, gin, an alcohol spirit that is at least 40%, because otherwise it will just go off. So take your bowl, take your mint leaves, pull a few off, maybe the flowers, cut your mint leaves small, and I'm going to use about, this is about a teaspoon, and then I want you to take probably half a tea tablespoon and put it in a bowl. Add your mint leaves and then carefully pour on your spirit. Okay, I am using vodka, but you can use whatever spirit that you've got, which is at least 40%. And pour in about two tablespoons. Carefully stir. Let the potion now sit for an hour. At the end of the hour, I want you to take your wand, mine is currently at rock at the moment, and I want you to stir the air around the outside and say, please make me a mint money charm. Strain it. And I'm going to put it in this rather beautiful little bottle, which is a stopper bottle, as you can see, with a stopper lid on it. And I'm going to strain it into there. So this is my Make a Mint Money Charm. Now the way to use this is whenever you are about to perform some sort of financial or business dealing or you're going to work or you want a job interview take or anything to do with money take a dropper put it onto your palm and rub your palms together now it's alcohol so it might sting a bit but it'll also get rid of any covid bugs which is quite nice and then your hands contain the charm to make you some money it's a really useful little spell you can put this you know, keep it in your drawer at work and so you can use it whenever you've got you know, a big deal coming up or something happening or when you're going to the bank and putting some money in. It's very useful for holding cash in your hands because it will make more. And that is your Make a Mint Money Charm. I will put the link for the Ethical Love Spell down in the description below. So do click on that if you want to do that love spell because remember the 8th of August, the Feast of Venus and the birth of the Virgin Mary, the day to do that one otherwise don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe and i will see you in my next video